Under the watchful eyes of Ski Utah's Yeti, the folks at Bryan Head decided to ensure good snow conditions for the upcoming winter season. In an old tradition that seems to have worked in the last several years, Bryan Head skiers and snowboarders and ski area management embrace the Norse god of snow, Ular. Ular is an obscure Norse god and the stepson of the god Thor, the god of thunder. Ular is known for being handsome and warlike, as well as being a hunter, a skater, and a skier. Now, there were no snowboarders back in his day. In recent years, Ular has become a popular figure in the uh, skiing community. His increased popularity is due to skiers and snowboarders being a superstitious bunch. When it comes to great snow, Ular is the homey hookup. Uh, that is unusual headwear. Yes. Can you give me the inside scoop on it? Well, I, I look up to Uller, the god of snow and, and wonderful winter weather. So in support of Uller, I, I decided to dress like him partially today with this elegant headwear. And in celebration of Uller and in prayer of wonderful snow this season. Known as Ular's snow parties, these new rituals started during the drought years and have become more of a tradition in recent years to ensure good snow. The ritual came in many forms depending on where you were and previous successes. Some rituals include wearing your pajamas inside out, drinking lots of alcohol, washing your car, snow dancing, drinking schnapps, not changing your socks, and did I mention drinking a lot of alcohol? One common denominator in all the snow parties is drumming, fire dancing, singing, uh, did I mention drinking a lot of schnapps, praying to Ular, and the grand finale, lighting skis on fire by Ular himself.
While the skiers and snowboarders watched the fire goddess, the Ular snow prayer was read. Backcountry TV spoke to the fire goddess and Ular snow party dancer. I did a little uh, Viking inspired fire performance. So I danced to uh, songs from Wardruna, which is out of uh, the uh, Scandinavian area. And uh, they're a big inspiration for me. And we uh, uh, did costuming based off of <laughs> the Vikings. Uh, more fire resistant as it were too. So. Uh, hopefully it was a nice uh, prayer and ritualistic version of the, the fire dance and we have a good snow year up here. The snow party festivities were capped off with a visit from Ular himself, who set the sacrificial skis on fire to ensure another year of great snow in southern Utah. We spoke with Ular. Tell me what you just did. Well, as the god of snow, you must sacrifice skis to the gods. And this creates snow coming from the heavens. And this sacrifice that we did tonight hopefully will translate into moisture for everybody to enjoy here at Brian Head Ski Resort. <laughs> <laughs> 